Hello, my name is Anatoly Zubov and I will present you our paper on phase offsets of A2211AC commodity Wi-Fi. So we see today a big boom in wireless sensing applications from user localization, tracking, line of sight pass identification, human sensing and others. Most important uh, for our paper are indoor localization systems. What you would like to have is something what you have with GPS outdoors, you would like to have it indoors and you would like to localize yourself using existing Wi-Fi infrastructure which is already deployed and existing. Most promising approaches are angle of arrival estimation schemes which uh, utilize the channel state information provided by Wi-Fi devices to measure the angle of arrival and for angle of arrival, you need to have MIMO systems. So you need to have multi-antenna systems. Channel state information is, um, uh, is you get if the transmitter transmits a radio signal, which propagates through multiple passes, could be direct pass, reflection scattering, and then finally it superimposes on the receiver side and this channel state information contains all the characteristics of the environment. Unfortunately, if you capture channel state information from COTS Wi-Fi hardware, you are not only capture the frequency response of the wireless channel, but you also have, uh, it contains also uh, several kinds of phase distortions uh, because of uh, imperfect circuits. The good news is most of them, like carrier frequency offset, packet detection delay, and sampling frequency offset, they are the same among different RF chains, so they are not um, complicate. They are not complicating angle of arrival estimation. Uh, for angle of arrival, the only distortion which creates problems is the phase locked loop initial phase, which is different for different RF chains, and you have to deal with that. So you see the problem statement and the contribution of our paper. So there is a phase offset between receive uh, chains, antennas of COTS Wi-Fi chips. And because of that, the measured CSI is distorted and needs to be corrected. If you want to do uh, uh, algorithms like angle of arrival. Here you see the contributions in our work. So we systematically analyze the difference initial phase offset between uh, different RF chains of a to ac chips based on Intel and we did it on a pair of DM subcarrier granularity. We come up with a simple algorithm which allows us to correct receive antenna phase offset on the fly without any calibration and as a proof of concept we present you angle of arrival over the air using music algorithm. Here you see the setup. As I said, we used Intel Quartz Wi-Fi hardware. It's a 2x2 MIMO chip. The CSI functionality was missing. We added it to the chip and the setup was very simple. We transmitted uh, packets and on the receiver side for each received packet, we estimated the channel state information as reported by the Wi-Fi driver. And this information was passed to the user space using Netlink API. And here we use Python MATLAB for doing uh, for performing the post-processing. We have two setups, one over the cable, you see here on the figure with a splitter, where we connect the both receive antennas to one single transmit antenna in order to understand uh, the characteristics of the phase offset and then finally over the air setup for the actual use case. Starting with the over the cable experiment, so we wanted to understand the phase offset between receive chains of our a 2211 ac chip. So we run over the cable experiments because we want to avoid influence from the environment, multi-pass mobility. We also swapped uh, the external cables of the splitter and average out and average the results to eliminate the constant phase offset introduced by cables and splitters. We measured with 10,000 packets, each channel from 2.4 and also 5 gigahertz band. Here are the results. So on the figure you see four arbitrary selected packets on the x-axis of the subcarrier and the y-axis of receive phase offset between antenna A and antenna B. And you see packet A is absolutely correct as the phase offset is 
uh, around uh, zero, which is correct because the length of the capes were uh, the same in the wired setup. Packet B is different. Uh, we see that two subcarriers uh, have an incorrect uh, phase offset. Packet C is even worse. There are multiple uh, subcarriers having incorrect uh, phase offset, and the same with D. But if you close a look at the, at the uh, res and data, you will see that um, the true phase offset is only could be ro uh, rotated by multiples uh, of pi. So you have a random phase rotation by pi, and the rotation strictly depends on whether the true phi is positive or negative. Uh, so you have a random process here, and in our wired setup, it's easy to remove those incorrect uh, uh, values. And if you do the removal and you also eliminate the phase offset introduced by the cable and splitters, you, you come to those results. In the upper figure, you see for different subcarriers and channels in 2.4 GHz band, the receive antenna phase offset between the two antennas. The values are close to uh, zero as expected because the cable length was the same. And in the lower figure, you see uh, that the distribution is also narrow. Uh, you, will, you are getting very precise measurements. And similar situation to 5 gigahertz, please look into the paper. So the question is, can we uh, correct the phase offset from this random rotation? Yeah, we can, because phi uh, star is the measured phi is semi-time invariant with four possible values. Hence, it's semi-deterministic. So it means that some subcarriers could be randomly rotated at some point in time, but for most of the time, they are reporting the correct phi. So our approach is very simple. We simply need to measure, to come up with enough measurements. So we're sending packets on the same channel multiple times and also on overlapping channels multiple times. By doing so, we can measure each sub, the phase offset of each subcarrier multiple times, and then we can do uh, outlier detection and we can remove those incorrect values. Now on the figure you see here five packets and each packet alone has some subcarriers with incorrect uh, phase offset but if you do uh, the com uh, combining uh, the resulting phase offset is correct, it's a red one. Yeah and then finally we uh, as a proof of concept we uh, implemented angle of arrival uh, using music algorithm and we selected seven different uh, over the air, seven different locations for the transmitter on each for each position we sent 20 packets on all the 13 channels in 2.4 gigahertz and then on the left lower left figure you see we combined we stitched together the different uh, measurements from the different 20 megahertz channel to a single 80 megahertz channel and after phase offset correction uh, with the proposed algorithm, we are getting uh, those smooth curves. And on the right side figure, you see if you feed into the music algorithm those phase offsets, uh, you can derive the angle of arrival. And you see uh, that there is a good match between ground truth and measured angle of arrival. So it seems that it is of practical use. So I can conclude my talk. So we analyze the phase offset between uh, receive antennas of modern a 11 ac chips. Results show that there is a random phase rotation, but it's semi-time invariant with four possible values. Uh, the uh, random phase rotation is also frequency dependent. As a, yeah, as phi is frequency dependent, so it depends on subcarrier and subchannel. So you have to account for that. And our proposed algorithm for cleansing CSI is very simple and allows it to derive the true phi. And as a proof of concept, we implemented angle of arrival, which shows us good results. And for future work, we are planning to make our toolbox open source. Thank you for your attention.